then this season has been an absolute yo-yo for, for me personally. I'm Robbie Wong. I'm joined by my co-host. This is Winston Wong. We're watching uh, Robbie at Rhine to Mythic with his uh, Rakdos Lurus deck. Let's uh, see if we find a mirror or Omnath. Omnath, Omnath was the first boss fight that I lost. Mirror. Basir. Yeah, the last three seasons, it, it's it's been sort of a, uh, are you willing to play enough games? This this one has been a, an absolute slog. Um, opponent taking a mulligan makes me really want to kick him while they're down. Did they take mulligan? Yeah, they took they took one mulligan. Now play something ah, okay. slow and dumb. Okay. Let's take a peek. <laughs> is this Tron? What's going on? Uh, Could be. Is, this is historic, right? Yeah. yeah. So that there's like. Oh, is this? Um, oh, this is keep this combo. We don't have any graveyard hate. <laughs> All right, so we're we're gonna have to get a get our go on with like nothing to go. Like we we have to be aggressive. All right, so next turn, move Luris over and then attack with Luris. <laughs> oh, dread dread horror again. Can't oh, we can't. That. They still don't know what we're playing. <laughs> they don't care. Could be mono black aggro. Could be. Well, at least there's plenty to thoughtsies now. Keep this, I think, is three mana, so we can at least claim it once we find red mana. Slowest start ever. Red Me? mana would be really appreciated. Yeah, they have alerts too. Alerts of their own. Holy cow. Yeah, diligent excavator. Well, that's claimable as well. I think next turn is Thought Seas. Well, now it's Stitcher Supplier, Thought Seas. Let's start with th this. <laughs> yeah, you got uh, Let's claim this back. Sure. Because I think getting a 5-5 five, five flyer is uh, probably... Oh, that's dumb. I should have just cast it with Lurus. Okay, yeah. the idiocy continues. Uh, I think I want a Thoughtseize. And uh, this is probably the last opportunity where Thoughtseize has text. Yep. Well, no, because it doesn't really he matter where that is. Um, I think I swing in. I don't think they block. And you know what? I'm, I'm okay with this trade. So either way works for me. Let me gain three or... Not that life total matters. Oh, they can play Stitcher Supplier from the graveyard. That's so awesome. Diligent Excavator comes back. Oh, Emery. Okay. Well, the only good news is we haven't seen Keithus. Deck continues to mock me. Alright, uh, I'm going to throw away the Stitcher Supplier to dig for a mountain. Yep. You can even bring Stitcher Supplier back. You know what? In this whole time I've played this deck, I've never had Lurus stick. <laughs> yes, de deck is, is definitely mocking me. Um, Bring okay. back... Stitcher Supplier, and then yep. Village Rights again. <laughs> Look, there's, a, there's your lands. <laughs> deck continues to mock me. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I really need that red land. Well, 
black land. Um, I can claim for three damage off of a Croxa. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I think I swing in here with this. Yeah. What is this? This is four mana. Holy crap. Well, for a single color deck, we've been operating okay. Yeah, the opponent really needs Keithis. We really need red lands. Let's see who who draws what first. <laughs> They've gone through half their deck without a Keithis. This is two or less, correct? Yeah. So Keithis doesn't come back with Lurus. So what does Keithis do exactly? I'm not... So Keithis has an activated ability. Oh, there's, that's how they get it back. Okay, so if they mill over Keithis, they can they can village rights it. And that's in the bin, so I can't make them discard. Um, Keithis, if you exile two historic spells from your graveyard, everything becomes recastable again. Just ah. historic wise. So they're they're digging really aggressively for Keithis, which this is this is this is a lot. So four copies of Keithis are hiding in the bottom seventeen of opponent's deck. Oh they have unbrail rights, okay. Well they burned it. Oh man, you know it'd be hilarious is if they if they <laughs> if they somehow milled out. Oh, no. See? I shouldn't have said anything. Now they're <laughs> This is a sick loop. Their Lurus comes back. I think I'm dead. Because the Lurus comes back. They choose a new Lurus. They recast a Mox Amber. They Tesher. Oh, I've never seen that loop before. So this is a this is another component of their deck I haven't seen. It's a Tesher Lurus Amber Loop. Maybe that's all they have. Maybe they don't have Kethis. That would stand a reason. Seeing as how they have 17 cards left. Yeah, and they can do this forever, can't they? Nothing to say they can't. Yeah, because this this is zero and this is free. Yeah, okay, so they're going to mill us out. Good game. I have no interaction. That's cool. I've never seen that before. All right, so we want to be the leanest, meanest version of things possible. We need to exile their stuff? Yeah, of which I have this. Yes. Well, I mean, that's... <laughs> that's that's what's there. Um, which Win is Vengeance? Winston, will you, will you look up... Keith, this is a, a four-toughness creature, correct? This MTG. Keith, this is three mana. Alright, so it does get hit by claim. And it's three ma uh, 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 three power, four toughness. Okay, so legendary you spells you cast cost one less to cast. Exile two legendary cards from your graveyard until end of turn. Each legendary card in your graveyard says you may play this card from graveyard. Okay, I, I think I think I don't want to be too interactive. I just want to smash face. But I, like most of my meat is is on the is on the table. Oh, I was like, I'm gonna kick this opponent while they're down, and then jokes on you, I won all my cards in the bin. You know, you're right. If, if they're just relying on Lurus, Tesher, uh, then they don't need to play. But here, here's here's my thought, then. Then why play green, right? Like, if, if that's your win con, what does green add? You know, like, maybe remove... Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. So maybe maybe it's Keith's combo, but, like, Keith is just a one-of or something. Okay. I'm going to thought seize this out of my hand to claim it back.
<laughs> Please work. Now they play graveyard hate, and then no. <laughs> the blast, notably, blast zone does not get it back. Okay, so claim this. Hilarious. I love it. Play this tap go. All right. Next turn, you can thought seize them. You get four turns. Uh, I think I'm one mana short of that. What? Why? Because you're, you're talking about Dreadhorde Arcanist and then Fang. Oh. No, I, I. Yeah, I thought you were attacking with Dreadhorde this turn, but no. Yep, you're right. Okay, so I, do, I don't think I want to fame this. No, it doesn't change the clock right now. I'll leave this up for removal. That was the other land that I was looking at. Like, should I be playing a Phyrexian Tower? Just, just to pair with the claim the Firstborns. But you need red land more. <laughs> Apparently. All right, what you got, opponent? They have a chromatic spear. All right, so hopefully I can thought seize a Tesher out of their hand, and then just. Go good old fashioned beats. Fill the bin. Crocs. Uh... Six, seven, eight. If I fame them. If I fame. <clears throat> if I fame the demon, that's eight points of damage, and then they have five left and they're dead in the air? That seems worth it to me. Yes. Now, now do it. Yes. It doesn't matter which one you do, right? Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. So the the, the one time that that matters is yeah. if you have a bedevil in the bin that you want right. to um, flash, right flashback. Do they have removal? Colorless removal? What are they, what are they looking at? Yes, this one. Yes, yes. Show me your secrets. Tesher oh. is the take. Right, because if I leave them Lurus, Tesher, if I leave them Tesher, they can get Lurus back with Tesher. Yeah. Plus, that's the flyer. So now they have to draw a removal spell or other Tesher. I think we're okay. Let's see. We, we wanted an aggressive start. We got an aggressive start. Ooh. All right. One and one. So it counts as aggressive. Te what is Tesher's toughness? Two. Magma Spray kills it. Okay, I think I'm going to bail on Priest to get one more, like, sacrificing, because my creatures need to stick around and attack. So yeah. if I swap that for a a braid or a witch's vengeance. I think using witch's vengeance to kill a single Tesher would be fine, since it's an angel, and then there's a, mm -hmm. there's a possibility that there's like multiple diligent excavators, and I can tag all of them with one. I think yeah. that's better than a single priest of the forgotten gods, who's a good demon. Uh. Any other thoughts? I, th I think I like what I have. Especially since I don't have Graveyard Hate. Not that Keith's combo is like, this is literally the first time I've played Keith's all season. We still haven't seen Keith's. Oh, uh, Teshar is, in fact, two. two uh, Keith's two, two. Keith combo. <laughs> Well, we wanted an aggressive start. That was an aggressive start. Th right back, sees, right back. Thought sees myself for the win. Okay. Uh, uh, I think Young Pyromancer is going to let me go wide. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't have a removal spell, though, for or a sack outlet for claim. 
but I think that's okay. Claim the firstborn. Infinite search. Conan arena. Oh, combo on arena. Okay, what's what's the infinite search combo? Mold the five. Mold the four. Mold the three. Two. What are they mulling for? Um, ley line of the void. Uh. I, I bet. Because that's that's a one-sided graveyard hate. Yay! Back to the 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 bubble match. <laughs> Whew, I'm Robbie Wong. <laughs> this is Winston Wong. Get ready for the uh, boss fight for Mythic. We'll see you next time. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.